will haunt you forever. From the depths of evil comes a diabolic killer of beautiful women. Lee Tokar coming to you live from the VCon, the Vancouver Sci-Fi and Fantasy Convention. Monsters do have their place. In the zoo, in your nightmares, in the deep, in your favorite horror movies. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Joseph Picard. A little bit of Mad Max, a little bit of Fallout, and a little bit of Ramstein. We love this. this. is awesome. Look at these. Can we see these rubber tire treads? On I love that. So awesome. People, I was coming in the door and people saying, "Do you have the next one? Do you have the next one?" So this is brilliant. I think that's a pretty good thing. So can you tell one, us a little bit about the, uh, the the book? In Life Hack, our heroine Reagan breaks up with her girlfriend, moves in with her brother to Mooch, and for some reason zombies break out. Of course. And we find out that uh, our villain here did this with little microscopic nanites because he thought it would be a good way to quit his job. My name is Rini, Rini Chung. Well, I'm with Anime Evolution and uh, I'm the programming director this year in charge of bringing in all the content for the convention. And uh, for 2010, we'll have lots of exciting content coming up and lots of great guests hopefully coming in. I would love to come in. If, is it, are you I'm formally great. asking me? I am formally asking. I am formally accepting. Oh, thank you. Yes, I would love to. You guys, see, they, they were so great. They put me up here at the Marriott last year and, and I live in town and I thought it was so nice. Yeah. So that when I drew her face, it was like, oh, she creeps me out. I don't know. I just told everybody in the circle, how did he do this? Because I write myself in the book, that's exactly how I look in the book. Okay. And this is it. This is the book that, um, and I illustrated it. I have like ten in here. So it is a speculative anthology of fiction. Sorry. Uh, uh, Sorry, I got a. An evil Airedale dog running over fat kids uh, as they make their way from a fat camp to uh, a convenience store on a deserted highway. I know. It's, it's for it's, kids. It's for kids. Tanya Huff. We are in the presence of greatness! Fantastic. And we're about to go into a panel to talk about vampires and or creatures of the night. And I was reading the fine print just now, Tanya, and I see that they're actually literally mean creatures of the night, aardvarks, tarantulas, etc. This is news to me. I'm assuming it's news to you. It is also news to me. It is I, also news to me. I, we may actually have to hijack this panel and stay away from the aardvarks. I would, I would be willing to do that with you. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be about aardvarks and tarantulas. That's not. I did. Uh, I'm, putting my, I'm putting my agent. It's ridiculous. Pfft. I'm not putting my agent. I'm not putting my agent. I'm kidding. Let's see what the vampires are doing. If your cell phone goes off, I will want to talk to the person who's calling you. And I have done that, so you uh, better either set your cell phone to stun. <laughs> I am Lee Tokar. Um, I've been asked to sit on this panel. I don't think they knew that I knew anything about vampires. They just asked me to sit on the panel because I do animation voiceovers for probably most of the cartoons you see on television. Uh, George of the Jungle, League of Super Evil. I play the evil Dr. Frog whose inventions are always trying to kill him. And um, the evil bling bling child who is also trying to take over the world. I take over the world a lot with my characters. I think that one thing that's interesting uh, in modern times about female vampires is again the hunger thing. It, the thing. The thing. Hunger the thing. thing. <laughs> because um, women's hunger is so controlled. We're always on diets or watching what we eat or restricting this and that and vampire women only drink blood and they never gain weight and they... <laughs> the, I think the, va the, the it's fascinating the the lineage of anthropological notions of, vamp of vampires. And what you were saying in the Eastern European, during the collectivization of Stalinist Russia, mm -hmm. the Ukrainians were starved to death, to the point of starvation. And I have, um, I've had a great uncle of mine talk to me about this. And that is where, the, the, where you would have children fearing for their lives because people were hunting children to eat. And as dark and as menacing as that sounds, these are the things that the human condition is, is heir to when you are pushed to that brink. The, the paranormal romances have, yes. have really actually uh, defined the, the vampires and the werewolf thing. And this is, and this, 
Stephanie Myers pretty much encapsulated it with, you know, the, it, it's, it's, it's the good boy, the bad boy, the rich boy, the poor boy. The vampire is the cultured aristocrat. The werewolf is the rough and tumble. Mm -hmm. So thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. And this has been the Vancouver V Convention. We had some fantastic times, met some very interesting folks. This is going to be the first installment of many because, as you can see, the website is being developed and uh, there's lots of blogging to be done and, and lots of people to tweet and Twitter and uh, twoot. Yeah, twoot's a word. Look it up.